three mistakes I made using the bullet train for the first time in Japan. Number one, not getting to Tokyo Station early. I booked my Shinkansen ticket for 6.42 a.m. using an app called Kluke. I thought all I needed to do was use my QR code and print my ticket and then get on the train. What I didn't factor in was the sheer size of Tokyo Station. It serves 14 lines and trains operated by three Japanese companies. So I spent a lot of time trying to figure out where this Shinkansen line was. So if you're going to use a bullet train, you need to get there early. Mistake number two. Not knowing where the non-reserved seat carriages are. I booked a non-reserved seat, which means you need to enter carriages one to three. I assumed the ticket would say that, and it probably did. But the problem is, I can't read Japanese, so I had no idea where I needed to go. I had to ask three Japanese women if they could help me, and the other problem was they didn't speak English. The train was about to leave in five minutes, so I really needed to figure it out, which I did at the end. But it's always good to check this stuff before you get to the platform. And lastly, not trying the bento. It's almost a tradition for travellers to pick up a bento to eat while on the train. Because I hadn't factored the other two issues mentioned, I had no time to buy any food. So those are the three mistakes I made while using the bullet train for the first time in Japan.